close enough. That was good. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I, uh, this is my favorite time of the year. I feel like it's like a good time because you just see like a lot of people crying outside. <laughs> have you noticed that in New York? It's like our favorite pastime. I guess because we don't have cars to cry in, so we just do it in parks or on the train in front of other people. <laughs> Like, I saw a woman walking and crying the other day, and I was just like, God, that's so New York. <laughs> to be like, I don't have time to sit down and cry. I've got meetings to go to. I was like, that was pretty cool. I've only seen women cry in public, though. I've never seen a guy cry in public before. But I have seen a guy masturbate in public before, which I think is y'all's crying. <laughs> yes. Same outcome. <laughs> it feels good and then you're tired afterwards. <laughs> hey, that was crazy. <laughs> also like watching couples fight in public. That's my favorite pastime. I saw this couple fighting on the train the other day and I wanted to sit next to them just so I could figure out whose side I was on. Because you can't be like, what are you guys fighting about? <laughs> but I feel like if you're already going to go outside to fight, like you already did all the work, like you might as well just like go all the way with it. Like a lot of times they're just so general in their terms. Like the girl was like, you never meet my needs. And I'm like, I need you to be a little bit more specific. <laughs> we might have the same needs. <laughs> I have no idea. I uh, was watching this documentary on Netflix. Do you guys ever just watch Netflix and then you're like, do I like this or am I just poor? <laughs> This is like stuff to put on in the background while you look at your phone. It's pretty cool. I was watching this documentary about being a uh, minimalist. Have you guys seen it? Yes. Are you guys doing it? No, no one is. <laughs> it's like this movement where you're supposed to get rid of stuff that you don't need anymore. So I've just been doing that. It's quite liberating. After a while, I was like, what else of my boyfriend's stuff can I throw out? <laughs> It's really easy. If you don't know how to do it, you just like pick up one of his objects and then you ask yourself, does this bring me joy? And then if it doesn't, you just throw it away. So no more Xbox. <laughs> we're down to our three favorite phone chargers. So we're making some room. Have you ever noticed that Apple creates a separation of class by updating their phone chargers? Isn't that annoying? Like, I had the iPhone 4 forever, and I'd forget my charger all the time, which is like the wide bottom one. So I'd always be like, does anybody have an iPhone 4 charger? And they're always like, um, I only have a 7. How did you get up here? I figured it out. iPhone 7 people are mean to 4s. It's crazy. I feel like every time I pulled out my four, people would treat me like I had lice or something. <laughs> but I did have to get rid of it because I used Siri a lot, and then she kind of got weird towards the end. Like one time I asked her where the nearest Chipotle is, and then she just called this girl Chantel on my phone instead. Like I didn't even know I had a Chantel in there. It's almost like Siri was like, you know what? I don't really feel like dealing with this bullshit right now. I'm gonna call your friend Chantel and you can ask her where Chipotle is. <laughs> I was like, nice. I love Chipotle, I stand by them. They had a rough few years, did you guys know that? They were giving people diarrhea, it was tragic. Like on a national level, it was crazy. One time I walked into Chipotle with diarrhea. <laughs> And then they made me leave. They were like, you can't bring your own diarrhea in here. <laughs> I was like, I get it. <laughs> I was like, not cool. <laughs> oh, it's fun. What else? I, uh, I took Uber Pool recently. Have you guys done that? I did it by accident, though. Like, I didn't realize I hit the pool part on the app. So then, like, the driver came and picked me up. And then he went to go pick up another person. So I thought I was just getting murdered. <laughs> and I still didn't say anything. <laughs> like I was just in the back seat, like, um, uh, never mind. <laughs> I don't want to be a bother during my murder. 
I was like, what was the other option? Fight for my life and then be wrong? <laughs> That's so embarrassing. <laughs> we were like, sorry for scratching your eyes out. <laughs> I'll just give you five stars. That seems pretty fair. <laughs> so annoying. I, uh, I'm broke. Are you guys broke? Yeah. Oh, cool. The rest of you guys are just killing it. That's nice. <laughs> Yeah. I don't have a lot of debt. It's just like enough where I think about it all day long. Do you guys have that debt? <laughs> like one time I did get out of debt and then I was like, now what? <laughs> now I have nothing to live for anymore. <laughs> so I just put myself back into debt again. Yeah. Feels good to have goals again, you know? <laughs> like if you pay your debt off, that's great. But if you don't and then die, like that's pretty great too. <laughs> that's the plan I'm on right now. <laughs> It's called the fuck it plan. And it's where you just like buy whatever you want and then you just die. <laughs> Make sure you die though. That's the most important part of this plan. <laughs> so important. It's so hard to save money. Like I've been bringing my lunch to work a lot lately just to save some money. I brought a can of chili to work the other day and that's sad. <laughs> <laughs> that's like bringing hobo food to work. <laughs> You know what's even sadder is when I took it out of the bag, I realized it was a can of refried beans. I was the girl at work that just ate a whole can of refried beans as her lunch. Like, people were like, what is that? And I was like, oh, just dried up dog shit that I added water to it. I couldn't even finish it. It was too much bean. It was crazy. So crazy. I tried buying nuts. Have you guys done that? Holy shit, you need like a loan for those things. <laughs> They're so expensive. I got the kind that you like scoop into a bag and then weigh it at the register. So I did that and then the guy was like, that's $100. <laughs> I was like, I can't afford that. <laughs> so I made him take out all the macadamia nuts. <laughs> that I was just left with peanuts, which are like the pennies of nuts. <laughs> I just want to make enough money that I can get almonds, you know. <laughs> Some sweet almond money. <laughs> though it's hard, though, to save money in the city. It's so expensive. Like, I live in a studio apartment that's just, like, the size of this rug. That's, like, 10000 a month. It's a pretty good deal. <laughs> it's just one room, and I noticed that it has a smoke detector in it where I'm just kind of like, why? <laughs> like, what's the point? Like... By the time it goes off, I'm just like, yeah, I know. I'm also in the room as well. <laughs> like, now I'm on fire and it's super noisy in here. <laughs> like, I'll just be the smoke detector. <laughs> Make it easier. What else? I was thinking about this the other day. Uh, isn't it weird that we used to have milkmen? Have you ever thought about that? Like, there was a time period where these guys would come to your house and deliver milk and then you would have sex with them? <laughs> that is so weird that we did that. I guess they just died of venereal diseases. That's why we don't have them anymore. I'm like, where's that movie? <laughs> so fun. Uh, I'm getting married this weekend. I did it. I can finally be myself. God, it feels so good. I can start drinking again. <laughs> he has no idea. <laughs> Although I am 39, which I feel like is a little late to be getting married for the first time, so I'm just telling people this is my second marriage. <laughs> first one died. You took an Uber pool. <laughs> it's tragic. <laughs> I am four years older than my fiance, so we'll probably die around the same time, which is really important to me. <laughs> Just because like women outlive men by four years statistically, do you guys know that? Yeah, and also because we're doing a suicide pact. <laughs> I just want people to know we're in love, you know. <laughs> Just because they always make a big deal when couples die within hours or days of each other, they're always like, oh, they can't live apart. I always feel bad for the lady that outlives her husband by 20 years, where you're just like, God, I guess she just hated him. She's just like rollerblading. <laughs> she never let me do this. <laughs> All right, guys, you've been great. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you.